Human power flow uh, for a different time stamp of a particular time in this tutorial. Uh, you will observe the solution of up or power flow optimization for a different time stamp for day, particular day. So there will be 24 hours and we will run the optimization problem for each time stamp that is its hours of the day and finally we will see the whole distribution of the optimal power generations from different generators to fulfill the load demand for different time stamps so first of all you have to prepare data so I want to show you data first here okay so this is the test data and it consists of all 4 bus and in 4 bus I have used a hydro storage and, 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 and hydro it, it is a bit small scale hydro it could be a Pondes river or runoff river or something like that and another is solar okay and I have used a load bus at bus 2 okay and this is the x and y is the coordinates now you have to specify for the optimal power flow if you are doing optimal power flow for different time stamps then you have to define snapshots here okay so snapshots is the different time stamps okay so for january 1st 2018 the first day is the altogether 24 hours okay and these weightings is for you can use all the same weightings for deterministic optimal power flow so here we are doing a linear optimal power flow using uh, some optimization algorithm that used by PPSA and you can do also stochastic power flow analysis using different weighting values here anyway and another thing is uh, you have to set the different load values for different time stamps okay different load values these are in, in terms of megawatts and another is the generator capacity in terms of per unit for different time stamps for example for solar there will be no power at night so it, then it would be zero so only daytime and for hydro storage and hydro I have specified they can supply their full rated power for the whole day now let's do some optimization in PyPSA okay so for this this is my Jupyter notebook and I'm gonna import some libraries here first import PyPSA second mm, you're gonna need let's say numpy import numpy as and p I don't think it will be used here but anyway you can just import it and another is importing pandas SPD pandas is a very um, good what library for data uh, reading processing and uh, for display purpose I can use matplotlib library matplot SPLT okay that will be fine now first I will define the folder so uh, the folder is test data this data day okay this time just copying this and the list data folder and it will be string this data is and I, I, I need to read that data first network equals to IPSA dot network and the CSV uh, folder folder name equals to data folder so it will read the data so mm, you can visualize any data or you can see in, in, in the form of table of that data but uh, in this tutorial or in this particular tutorial we are interested in the generation capacities so let's plot the overall maximum generation capacities of each of the generators now network dtwrk network dot generators underscore time because we are dealing with the time 
time values and it will be p max sorry p max view and a plot it's a data frame so you can call the plot so this is the one the overall capacity of the generators for the whole day right now let's plot the load also so if we just plot the uh, load you can do just network loads underscore t dot p i think it's just a p only uh p set yes it's a p set and uh, this is the whole load so uh, the basic optimization problem is uh, to optimize or to um, calculate the appropriate value of the generation capacities or generation from each generator that would supply the load for that particular time okay so for this we'll do now pretty much problem one thing uh, i want to add here is you have to uh, specify all the variables here okay what is the nominal value what's the uh, power capacities okay so uh, it's the maximum value it's the nominal value is capital cost and all kind of that is the carrier name okay marginal cost you know about the marginal cost it is used in the uh, energy economics and all that you have to uh, entry all the data there now we are ready for doing optimizations so for doing optimization I have to use a solver and the solver name would be okay glpk i have installed glpk in my computer so i am using the solver glpk here and i am doing the optimization for different time stamps so for i in range it would be 24 okay i am i am doing optimization for its time instant 1111 okay for 0 to 23 right and uh, what is the com what is the command for or what is the code for doing optimization? It's just network dot uh, dot what um, L O P F. Okay, it's a linear optimal power flow. And first, uh, what first argument is the snapshot? It's the network network dot snap search and what the standard it would be the your i yes it's the first and second would be the solver name solver name goes to solver name okay and uh, it's okay fine so if i run this and uh, snap snap search okay so uh, it will do optimal power flow for each of the each of the what each of the time is stamped and store it on the p okay power generation other generated by the generators variable so i think the optimization is completed now now after completion the optimal power generation capacity or the value is stored in the p variable in generator okay so what would i do for this is let's say power uh, p carrier carrier means uh, solar hydro storage and hydro so i want to see what is the optimal values of the generator uh, uh, generator of the power generated by its generators so that would be network network dot generators underscore t dot p it will be p okay that's the particular power generated by the generator for that time instant and uh, i want to group it in terms of what the carrier names so i want to group by group by it would be the network network dot generators 
the carrier uh, I want to group the power generated by each of these generators now in terms of the metronomes and it's a data frame I have to specify the x is the one I want to sum the value so p carried is this okay so this is the uh, so you you can see here that for different only some time the hydro storage is supplying the power okay and the solar uh, is operative in its almost full uh, full power capacity when the sun is available and the hydro storage is, is almost working as a best power plant base power band so mm, let's plot this okay you can just plot this so why how would we plot this it's a data frame so it's called plot okay so how to plot we can plot in terms of kind equals to area area plot yes uh, P carry oh sorry okay so this is the whole plot here yes so this is the overall distribution of the plot uh, actually I want to see the the, the distribution uh, this plot distribution in, in more easier way so for that uh, let's define a figure axis and uh, figure dot set size in JSO to be 14 7 ok let's take that and uh, mm, uh, let's sort that uh, ok first we plot the hydro storage at the base and then hydro and then solar ok so for that you can just sort that as a mm, uh, p what is it p underscore carrier equals p underscore carrier and uh, you can uh, first you will plot hydro stories second you will plot uh, let's say mm, hydro and the third is solar solar b uh, okay this name should be similar to this name okay that's fine and uh, let's plot this what happened your game invalid keywords is telling invalid keywords here hydro stories hydro and solar Mm, what happened? Oh, okay. So, this is another grass here. Okay, this is. Oh, what happened? Oh, I have to specify the axis for this plot. Axis equals to axis. And let's define line 2. I plus 2, 1. And this is the whole result okay first hydro stories hydro and solar so this is the overall optimal distribution of the uh, generators to supply the the load and the load distribution is like this okay so overall the whole and uh, at different time instant the overall sum of each of the generations is equal to the what load there so this is a basic example of the optimal power flow in linear optical power flow in by PSA so thank you for watching this and uh, this was for today thank you